Well, I'd like to start off by asking you to tell me about mm -hmm. the mission of the National Center uh, for Missing and Exploited Children, and how has it evolved to the new challenges that seemingly come up year after year? Well, it grew out of the murder of our son, Adam. In 1981, our six-year-old son was kidnapped and we got such little help. And uh, so my wife actually started the first center out of our garage. And now it uh, has five branches. The main branch is in, in Arlington, Virginia. We have about 350 people work there. We have, uh, as I said, the five branches around the country. But over the years, we've we've been given challenge after challenge by the Justice Department because we get half of our funding from Congress and the Justice Department, the other half we raise from private sector. And Celebrite is one of those participants. But um, in the beginning, we started out with a hotline for missing and exploited children to report your child if they're missing, to get help immediately, and for the sighting of a missing child. And we had great success with that, and we've brought back uh, over 270,000 missing children over the years, and our percentage of getting a child back is down, is up to about 95%. Oh, it didn't start out that way. But over the years, we've been given many, many tasks. For example, law enforcement never really looked at child pornography. They thought it was too debilitating. It destroys you to see what happens to small children with grown men, etc. So they would lots of times not be able to finish cases, get good convictions, because they would not find out whether that child in that child pornography might be a missing or a murdered child. Then you can right. get the perp for right. more. So we have looked at over 600 million images of child pornography. We have a full-time therapist to help the people that sit there and try to build the cases. We've built many, many cases for different police agencies through our analysis of child pornography. That's a job we never anticipated we'd have to do. Then once the internet came about, we now are the cyber tip line. So last year alone, we had 600,000 calls or online uh, contacts to by children who are being solicited online, sometimes bullied, but being groomed online. Parents letting, saying, I don't know what to tell my children. I, any kid could work the computer better than any, no matter how tech adult. savvy the adult is. These kids know how to get on every device there is and get into chat rooms you've never heard of. Um, so we have that job. Now we've been asked by the Justice Department to track missing foster care children who will run away. They may have been in four or five foster homes, bad experiences, and they'll run and hit the streets and sex traffickers will, will get involved with them. We spend a lot of our time tracking sex traffickers. It's something people didn't want to talk about for years, but even though we're the richest, most powerful country on the planet, we are still the number offender of sex trafficking of children. More sex trafficking of children happens in America than India and China and Cambodia and Thailand and places I've been to hunt for sex traffickers. America is the number one abuser of that and offender of it. So over the years, we've developed a huge partnership with different corporations to develop our safety products. So all of our things are free. So if you have a child in school and you want that child to have access to our videos, they're age specific, what a kid sees as a, is a six year old or in second grade, it's different for the middle school kids, it's different for the other kids. So we have, a, and, and we'll, we'll take tips and we have collaterals, safety collaterals, videos, printed online safety tips, animated characters created by Hollywood for us, uh, all for free in 30 languages. What does it take to be a successful partner to make this work? Well, you're, you're a great partner because we can't work and can't succeed without the private sector. I'm from the private sector, a bus entrepreneur businessman, and I know cops can't do it alone. They don't have the education, they don't have the experience many times, they don't have the resources for sure, and the really law enforcement is really not tech savvy. Right. You know, it, it just is a reality that 80% of the law enforcement agencies in America are 10 men or women or less. They don't have the resources or the tech savvy. So it's really hard to stay ahead of the bad guys. And uh, the bad guys always seem to have the leg up. They stay ahead of the legislation. It's always behind them. The laws will take three or four years to get passed and they will be move ahead of it. So, so the National Center 
couldn't exist and couldn't be as good as it is at what it does without the private sector. And one of our most important partners, and we have involvements with other tech companies, et cetera, is Celebrite, because Celebrite gives us your tools. I call them weapons, because they really are weapons in the fight to make children safer worldwide, because we deal with every country in the planet. You give us the tools to find the bad guys who prey upon children. You will get into those encrypted phones, because sex traffickers, pedophiles, individual pedophiles, they know that what they do is horrible and reprehensible, and they know cops are trying to get more sophisticated, and they're staying ahead of it. So you've been involved with law enforcement for over 25 years now. What are some of the things you've observed that have changed the way that crimes are investigated, that just stand out in your mind? Well, you know, some of it's good and some of it's not so good because in the old days, most crimes, 80% uh, of crimes are, are tried on the state level. So only 20% against crimes against anybody and ch children included are on the federal level. So each state varies state to state the training of law enforcement, the resources, et cetera, et cetera. And the bad guys have stayed ahead of those state laws. And in the old days, you could prosecute, prosecute on circumstantial evidence. Now, because of all the TV shows that are out, like CSI, every DA will tell you and every cop that there are expectations of juries that are not meetable. They, they, every jury wants DNA, a smoking gun, a video. So it's harder than ever to build those cases, to get DAs to have the, the courage to go forward for a conviction. So somebody like Celebrite, who can get us the actual evidence by breaking in, and you've done it many, many times for us, and I can't thank you enough, by breaking the encrypted phones of sex traffickers or individual pedophiles, for example, this little girl, Brittany, um, getting into that phone saved her life. She was five years old, stranger abducted, duct tape tied up in, the, in, in a trailer. The cops there on that case admitted they didn't have the smarts, the access, they didn't have the resources, they didn't have the tools. You saved that little girl's life. So you help law enforcement build actual cases by what you do. And you do it better than anybody else in the world, truly. This little company in Israel, I know with the presence in America and you're there, but it's really started in Israel. This little high-tech savvy country has done what Silicon Valley, ha Silicon Valley has not been able to do. And that's get some of the tools that you give us for free to help us catch the bad guys. What inspires you most when you meet with a group like this and you saw how warmly you were received uh, when they're talking about, and they really believe, trying to make the world a safer place through innovation, what inspires you the most when you meet and talk to groups like this? Because they're like you. They may have grown up on my show or know about Adam, or if they're young and they never saw America's Most Wanted and it wasn't a huge hit here in Israel, they're like, God, you're doing something. Go get them. Go get them. And I say to them, this is a fantastic little company. You're a for-profit company. You have to make the money to keep the lights on. You have a great R&D department. You are on a par with the biggest tech companies in America and surpassing them with your tools. And I get to meet the rank and file. I kid about, well, all the executives take all the credit and the salespeople like yourself, you, but it's these rank and file people in the research and development departments like in here, these young and some older people that are coming up with the tools to fight these guys, to fight terrorism. And I've been involved tracking terrorists before 9-11. They're hard to find, they're dangerous, and they have the world as their playground. And uh, children are hard to find when they're missing, and the people who prey upon them are hard to catch. But pe people like the people at Celebrite, this little company, sit in front of those computers 10 hours a day and hope they're doing something that'll pay the bills. But on the other hand, they're also hoping that they can do something that'll save lives. And I know firsthand this company saves lives. It gets children back alive, and it helps me catch some of the worst people in the world. Well, John, thank you again. You truly are someone who makes the world a safer world, and we appreciate it, and thank you for it. Thank you for the partnership. All right.